Welcome back to another AIMCAD AutoCAD video here and this is, we're going to be going over dynamic blocks. Just real quick, quick, easy, dynamic blocks. Let's get to it. So um, first things first is you need a block, right? So either you can insert a block, edit it, um, open up your block, edit it from there, whatever you got to do. Uh, but first you got to work inside of block editor. So I'm looking at this guy here and he's clearly not a block. He's all individual pieces. So I'm going to be for block and make it a block real quick. I'm going to call this block a widget as uh, that's what it is. Now I'm not going to go over how to create a block. I'm just going to go through this real quick. But also what I am going to note is in the bottom left hand corner, if you notice, it says open in block editor. That is key. It's going to take us in to block editor right away. Now, if you don't end up in block editor, it is not the end of the world. Now, as you can see, I've already done a widget block in here. So it's asking me to redefine it. So I'm going to click yes. Now, you might not get this because you don't have the block already in there, but if you do get this and you're pretty sure you want to redefine, then hit redefine. If not, no, give it a different name. All right, so now we have our block here. Now, I'm going to do a few things. I'm just going to explode this uh, outside line so it's all individualized. Um, it was currently a rectangle, which is what I used to create it. So blocks are made up of just really a few different things. Um, but mainly they're made up of a parameter and an action. Um, so for this one here, we want to stretch this block to the right or left. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a linear parameter, meaning this distance is going to change. Now, how is this distance going to change? Well, that is our action, and we're going to add a stretch value to both sides of it. So to do that, we're going to click on stretch. We're going to click distance. We're going to select the point there. And then we're going to do a kind of a quick window just like this. And then we're going to select the objects we wish to stretch like so. And then we're going to hit enter. Now, when you hit enter, you'll know it's good because you use this guy here. And again, this is sort of similar to a linear dimension, uh, but we need to go the other way too. So we don't have enough stretch commands here. So let's add another one. So let's click stretch again, select the distance, select the corner, give it a window and then select your object. So let's select both lines here. Now it's kind of hard to select that one. It's right over the UCS. So I'm gonna hit enter and there we go. Now you notice there's two stretch commands. Now let's give it a test. Up in the top left hand corner of the block editor screen, you'll notice the test block button or on the panel here, the open and save panel, the button test block, just give it a click and give it a whirl. Ah, that's some good stretching. All right, so let's click close here because that's not entirely what we want to do is we still need to create additional objects of these here as we stretch. So let's hit close and let's get back to right here. So we still have one more parameter we want to use is we want to array this multiple times as we stretch it. So let's click the array command now, select the parameter and then select what we want to array. So by doing this, we're basically selecting when the distance changes, I am going to array the centerpiece here. Now I'm going to hit enter and it's going to ask me for the distance between the columns. Now this is a real calculated move because it means the distance from here, when do I want the next one to generate? Um, I'm going to play around and I'm just going to do 1.8. Of course it's going to work, right? I did this before, but just note this 1.8 is on always going to be 1.8. Of course, this will depend on the object you're creating and will take some time, some trial and error to get right. But trust me, it's not bad to edit it later. Um, we'll show you how to go into properties and change that. So I'm going to do enter distance 1.8 and I'm going to hit enter. All right, so we'll get to test the block again. So let's go to test block. And again, let's give it another drag. Oh, there we go. So now we got some stuff going on here. Perfect, perfect. Let's try this way. There we go. So it looks like we're doing good. So let's hit close test block and continue about our mission here. Um, this block isn't done yet because we don't want to just kind of sit there and willy nilly and drag. If that's what you wanted, then good. Your block is done. Close out, save. You're good to go. But if that's not what you wanted, here's how to make it only step in increments. Meaning when I drag this, it's going to go to exact sizes. So let's give the distance thing a click here and look at properties on the left hand side of my AutoCAD window. So looking at that, you'll see a few different things here. Um, mostly the one we're worried about is right here called distance and we want to make it increments. 
what's the increments we want to use, you might say. And let's say we want to go 1.8 with a minimum of 3 and a maximum of 9. Now, as I'm doing this, you'll notice these little things appearing. So as soon as I hit maximum of 9, you'll see a few of them disappear. So I did a maximum of 12, I would have that one reappear. So again, this way here, it's going to step to each one of these items. So again, you're adding your own increments in here. So once this is good, again, you can give it a quick test. Look at it. Yeah, it looks good. Let's make sure it's going to step correctly. Boom, 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 boom. All right, looks good. So let's give it a close here. And with that said, I'm going to now save my block as it is good. Again, all these things can be changed at any time. Just give them a click and you'll see them over here. Give the stretch man a click and it kind of highlights it for you. Give this one a click and it highlights for you. All right, so in case you ever were wondering, you can see all this stuff a bit later. So again, if it's all good, again, save your block, close out a block editor, and just to be sure and safe, I'm going to erase this guy out and reinsert my new widget. Now you could have left that old one in there, but what's the fun in that? Let's insert the block, and I did, and as we go, you can kind of see, we've now created this dynamic widget, which will automatically scale as I go. So as I move this, it automatically erase the object and keeps going, and it has the exact sizing. So again, this might not be the exact dynamic block you're looking to create, and really it only gets more complicated from here. So in the next exercise, we'll kind of design something more along the lines of a bookshelf or something of that nature, and from there, it gets a bit more complicated. So again, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and click that notification button so you'll get every chance to see all the new videos I upload. I've been almost daily now. Um, and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Um, it'll only help me and encourage me to do more videos. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.